higher up in the podium and not in the middle of those uh, winners of the women's 100 meters butterfly but still another medal for her and that is her 22nd individual medal in her sea games career her fourth bronze medal Second in the last two editions, just to bronze in this edition in the 100 meters butterfly. And it really was a battle between her and her sister. Already a gold medalist in the 50 fly, her sister a gold medalist in the 200 fly. Ladies and gentlemen, silver medalist, Thailand! And the party pooper for a 1 2 qua finish from Kanjana Sapianchai of Thailand. It's a new personal best for her as well. 60.45 seconds. Slightly off the national record set by Titiya Patrawadi. Was good enough only for fourth place in this final. Well, and and before this, before today, only Tauli had gone below 60 seconds at the SEA Games. Tauli did it four times in a row. Now, let's make it five times in a row that a lady has gone below 60 seconds. She is just the second to go below 60 seconds at the SEA Games. That's the name, Kwa Jing Wen. A butterfly double. Appropriate that she's won her gold medals on the first and last nights because that really summarizes these 2017 SEA Games for her. Games. The always ready to flash you a smile and she really came into these games as a, a lesser known of uh, the Kwa family I think all of Southeast Asia knowing a lot about the exploits of uh, Kwa Ting Wen and Kwa Ting Wen of course especially on the worldwide level but trust me by the time Manila comes around 
That name, Kwon Jing Wen, will be on everybody's lips already, especially with what she has done at these Sea Games. And she joins a special list of Tao Li, Jocelyn Yeo, Juni Sung, Karen Chong, Hei Chin Ju, and Patricia Chan as Singaporeans who have won this event at the Sea Games. And just the second Singaporean to go below 60 seconds, in fact, the second swimmer to go below 60 seconds at these games. And I've just been told that Jocelyn has done it once as well. If you're watching Jocelyn, yo. Pardon that, uh, she has also gone below 60 seconds once. So three have gone below 60 seconds in the 100 meters butterfly. And they all are Singaporeans. It's 10 in a row now for Singapore in this event. 12 of the last 13 editions of the games, Singapore have won gold. That is what you call a dynasty in the 100 meters butterfly. And Singapore certainly have built a hegemony in this race. And even in Southeast Asian swimming, 17 goals for Singapore. This matches their feats in Palembang. Two more to match their feats for the best ever away performance in 1969 in Rangoon and 1971 in the city, Kuala Lumpur.